Hey, Larry here. Acts 29 today. Coming to you from <clears throat> Sunny World Headquarters in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I'd like to welcome all the viewers today in Thailand and from around the world. Well, today I'm going to continue on with the next uh, part of the journey. And uh, I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to one of the next uh, ebooks that I wrote and uh, get it out on uh, <clears throat> on video. Uh, I just try to get all this content out on every way that I can, and uh, then I've then I've done my job. So uh, the name. Of this next segment and the title of the ebook is ESP and J. So I'm going to read uh, a scripture to uh, get this started. <clears throat> this is Matthew 24, and and the uh, the disciples were asking him, you know. He, they showed him the temple and stuff, and he told them that it would be torn down and all that. And then they asked him about the sign and the coming of the end of the age. And Jesus said, Be careful that no one misleads you, deceiving you and leading you into error. That's the first thing he said. Make sure that no one deceives you. For many will come on the strength of my name, appropriating the name which belongs to me and saying, I am the Christ or the Messiah, <clears throat> or they will say, I'm the anointed one, deceiving you and leading you into error. And they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. He didn't say you might hear of wars and rumors of wars. He said you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See, either you're not frightened or troubled, for this must take place. This must take place. He didn't say it might take place. He didn't say it could take place. He said it will take place. It must take place. And so you've got people today all over, you know, out in internet land and everywhere. And, you know, and people are saying, come quickly, Lord Jesus, come quickly, Lord Jesus. And then the next day, they're, they're having a prayer gathering to pray against the things that must happen for Jesus to come quickly. And so, you know, if we're ever going to get to Revelation 22, we got to go through 1 through 21. Okay, these things must take place. They're going to take place. You're not going to prophesy them away. You're not going to pray them away. You're not going to fast them away. They must take place. But what you can do is just be and stay prepared for what must take place. <clears throat> For this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famines, earthquakes, and many places. And this is but the beginning, the early pains of the birth pangs of the intolerable anguish. And they will hand you over to suffer affliction and tribulation and put you to death. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Okay, so we've got the early part of the birth pangs. You know, we've got nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You know, we've got famine. we got pestilence. we got all this stuff already happening. That's, that's the beginning. The next thing he said is that they will hand you over to suffer affliction and tribulation and put you to death and you will be hated by all nations for my sake. That's next on the list. That's 
what we're coming into now. And because of that, this is what's going to happen. Many will be offended and repelled and will begin to distrust and desert him whom they ought to trust and obey and will stumble and fall away and betray one another and pursue one another with hatred. And many false prophets will rise up and deceive and lead many into error, and the love of the great body of people will grow cold because of the multiplied lawless and iniquity. Okay, that's why people are going to fall away. That's why they're losing it, because they see the lawlessness and the iniquity, and they can't handle that. But... And here it is. He who endures to the end will be saved. He that endures to the end will be saved. So we're either going to end and fall away, or we're going to endure to the end. It's the only two choices there are. People are either going to end. That means they're going to they're going to fall away because of the lawlessness and everything. They can't handle it. And they're going to end. They're just going to give up and and call it a day. Or we're going to endure until the end and be saved. So, I just wanted to read you that as an introduction uh, to this next segment, ESPNJ. And um, you might say, well, that's kind of a weird title. And, uh, yeah, it is uh, a little bit different, no doubt about that. But uh, so I'm uh, I'm trying to pull this up. And for some reason, it's not uh, coming up in uh, airplane mode. So we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to go have to go out of that mode. That's what live broadcasting is all about. That's okay. No worries, we got time. So this is the this is what the the book cover looks like if you go online. You can find this on my site ESPNJ. And uh that's me in the picture walking up a path out in the jungle in in Thailand. So I wrote this book because uh, as I was studying some scriptures and going through the Word in a couple of books over and over and over so I could get, you know, find out what, what what's really there. You know, if you take a book of the of the Word, the Bible, and you read it, you know, like uh, 50 times. If you read it 50 times, then you begin to you begin to see certain words that pop out. You begin to see certain uh, ideas. You begin to see certain thought patterns. You begin to see certain things that are there that 
comes shining through more than all the stuff around it. And so that's why I read certain things, certain books in the Word many, many times, because then I begin to see what's, what is the treasure there that Paul or Peter or James was trying to really get at. And so that's why I do that and re read that book so many times. So as I, as I was reading through uh, some of this stuff, I began to notice uh, endurance, steadfastness, and patience. And I began to see those words in these places over and over and over and over. And of course, the initials are ESP, and I use those so I can memorize you know, certain words from the scripture. So ESP is not extrasensory perception or extra stupid people. It's, it's uh, endurance, steadfastness, and patience. And what I began to get out of all this was that uh, these are tools that are going to help us endure to the end. We're not going to end because of the problems and the issues of our time. We're going to endure to the end and be saved. So, you know, what I want you to, to realize is that these three keys and, and then later I also added J, which is for joy, because that was another very important key. So what, I, what I'm doing in this introduction to this, this uh, next segment is I'm telling you that, you know, really the problems are not, you know, the political situation. It's not the economical situation. It's, it's not the geographical political situation. You know, it's not the entertainment world situation. <clears throat> It's not the death of the dollar situation, <clears throat> but those are all distractions. Those are all to keep people's eyes over on stuff. While the important things in life are happening in the supernatural realm. And so we can prepare ourselves there are preppers in the natural world that are, you know, they're going up into caves in the mountains and taking their gold and silver with them. And, you know, they're, they're, they're prepping, they're prepping for, uh, you know, after the atomic bomb goes off and there's nothing left on the world but them. And they're prepping for that. Well, as believers, we're also prepping. We're prepping in the Word. We're prepping in the Spirit. We're prepping for leaving this place that is not going to survive anyway. So those are just issues in the temporary world. But the Word says to keep our eyes on that which cannot be seen. And that is in the supernatural world. Raise your eyes up and look up for your redemption draws nigh your redemption, you, you be turning into that something of value that is going to put us into that kingdom so that we can actually see that kingdom. And so these are things that I'm talking about that are, that are going to get us to the end because we need to get to the end. It says he that endures to the end. Not he that's, you know, relaxing on the beach till the end, but he that endures to the end. And so next time we're going to get started in it. Bless you, and I'll see you there.